drivers want fluid, more compact schedule for Cup Series. The only thing consistent about the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series schedule, one of professional sports longest, is its inconsistency. Although the schedule traditionally opens with the Daytona 500, the sport's biggest event, it was not always so. The now defunct road course in Riverside, California, once had bragging rights to race number one. The schedule had its heaviest load in 1964 when it offered an astounding 62 races. The low came in 1949, the series' first season, when the checkered flag fell only eight times as NASCAR founder Bill France Sr. was still trying to figure out this new thing. The schedule landscape has included much of North America, including tiny dirt tracks now overgrown and largely forgotten and the continent's two most famous speedways at Indianapolis and Daytona Beach, Florida schedule, NASCAR announces start times, TV networks for 2018 season what's new, notable changes as NASCAR gets set to embark on season of Danica says it's a relief to race in Daytona 500 as the first green flag of 2018 nears, the Cup schedule once more is fluid. There are no new tracks, but there is a new dynamic. Las Vegas Motor Speedway and Richmond Raceway move into the playoffs for the first time, and there will be a playoff race on a road course, the combined oval road surface at Charlotte Motor Speedway. These are the kinds of changes some drivers have been promoting for years. There is a considerable amount of support in the garage area for a schedule that is the opposite of static. This often puts drivers on the opposite end of the debate from track operators, who generally enjoy having the same dates and the ability to plan consistently for the future. Former series champion Kevin Harvick has been the most outspoken advocate for toying with the schedule, suggesting on more than one occasion that some speedways shouldn't have two races per year and that changes would shake up the sport and perhaps impact attendance in a positive way. Harvick also suggested that the end-of-season championship race rotate from track to track instead of staying at Homestead Miami, Florida, Speedway, its home since 2002. Photos, 2018 NASCAR Cup Series schedule I don't think we should go to Homestead Miami every year. For the last race, Harvick said. I think it gets stale. It is a great race track, but it isn't all about the race track. It is about the event. How many times have you had a crappy Super Bowl, but everybody goes to the Super Bowl because it is an event? That is what we need to create. I love that we are starting to mix it up. I think we need to mix it up more. Harvick said juggling the schedule will add interest and excitement. People don't like the same thing, he said. You have to keep their attention. It can't just be about the cars racing on the racetrack and if you have to have a good race. They are not all going to be good. If you make the schedule exciting and make the events exciting, that is what guarantees you the people to come back if they had a good time. Boyer, looking to regain winning drive in 2018 Suarez, expects lessons from rush rookie season to yield success Bowman dismisses pressure, plans to keep Junior Nation happy the extreme length of the schedule, which this year stretches from February 11th through November 18th with only three off weekends, and coast-to-coast -coast travel make for one of sport's toughest seasons. Some drivers have suggested midweek night races preceded and followed by Sunday events to trim the length of the schedule. We should race more under a shorter time span, said 2012 Cup champion Brad Keselowski who has established a reputation for outside-the-box thinking in relation to changes in the sport. If we raced twice in a week in the summer months, especially when the weather is great and kids are out of school, it would be a great opportunity. More races in the summer months would eliminate some of the competition for television time against the National Football League in the fall, Kesilowski said. Ryan Newman said he also favors change, including the possibility, however remote of a cup race on a dirt surface. Cup cars haven't raced on a dirt track since 1970, although the Camping World Truck Series has had successful events at Eldora Speedway, a dirt track in Ohio.